So happy Earth Day to you and in honor of the day, we wanted to learn about the significant planet and its capabilities. Sarah Costa spoke with an environmental science professor from the University of Incarnate Word about what Earth Day does to help keep us alive and why we should protect our home. Planet Earth, it's our home that's been around for about 4.5 billion years. And it does some pretty amazing things. For one, it keeps us alive by providing us oxygen and food through photosynthesis, the process in which plants use sunlight to make their own food and in return release oxygen into the air. So ultimately, without photosynthesis, any living thing that would require oxygen would cease to, to exist. Dr. Karen N. Gates, a visiting environmental science professor at the University of Incarnate Word, explains the power of just one tree. One large tree can basically provide about a day's worth of oxygen for up to four people that are just normally breathing. And leaf size matters. And Gates says the larger the leaf, the more oxygen the tree will release. But surprisingly, it's not trees or land plants that provide us the most oxygen. The best estimates really indicate that about half to almost 80% of oxygen production doesn't really come from the trees, it comes from the oceans, with the majority coming from phytoplankton, which are little drifting plants, little algae, some bacteria in the ocean. It's why she says our oceans are pretty important too, which makes up about 97% of the water on Earth. But how much water is on our planet? Some scientists from NASA have put together the idea that if we could take all of the water that we know of uh, and put it into one volume, that we would have approximately 332 quintillion gallons, which is 18 zeros uh, beyond 332. So that's a lot of water on the planet that we have to care for. The water, the trees, plants, our snowy mountains, beaches and forests are all crucial to our survival. It's why Engate says we shouldn't celebrate and raise awareness to protect our planet on just Earth Day, but every day. It is our responsibility to be stewards of the Earth, to protect the place that, that we find home, not only for our resources, resources for survival, but also for the enjoyment and the prospect of having future generations enjoy it. Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News.